after high school, he joined the Marines and was described as the type of soldier you would want around when you went into combat. Incessantly, he began to write and leave himself notes, ranging from the mundane to the tremendous love he felt for his wife. Increasingly, however, he was having trouble with his temper, and he composed notes offering self-advice as to how to control his growing temper and rage attacks. Charles also began suffering terrible headaches, and one day, he lost his temper in class, pulling a male student bodily from his chair and tossing him out of the classroom. He consulted a staff psychiatrist at the University of Texas Health Center about his periodic and uncontrollable violent impulses. The psychiatrist noted, something was happening inside him, and he didn't seem to be himself. He readily admits having overwhelming periods of hostility, and he also made vivid reference to climbing up the tower with the deer rifle. He was told to make an appointment for the same day of the following week. Charles contacted police, and he asked to be arrested. But as he had not yet committed a crime, the desk sergeant instead suggested that he see a psychiatrist. Lately, I have been a victim of many unusual and irrational thoughts. These thoughts constantly reoccur, and it requires a tremendous mental effort to concentrate. After my death, I wish that an autopsy would be performed to see if there is any visible physical disorder. Charles climbed the tower, carrying several guns, and for the next 90 minutes, he shot at everything that moved. <laughs> 